Hi, my name is Tobias Winkler. I'm a regional manager at Zeiss Meditech. Today I want to show you how to set up a patient for testing at the HFA3. Review the selected patient name, date of birth and refractive correction information. Adjust the values as necessary. Select the correct test and any other testing parameters that need to be changed. If you are using the liquid trial lens, the instrument automatically sets the lens to the correct position for the patient's correction. When you are ready to test the patient, comfortably seat them in the chair you use with the HFA3. Apply the eye patch to the non-tested eye. Usually the right eye is tested first, so we'll patch the left eye. There are two different aspects to patient instruction. First, the patient must be given to understand the purpose and the nature of the examination, a process that we believe is best addressed as soon as the patient enters the perimetry room. Second, new patients must be given specific instructions regarding how to actually take the test. The amount of detail addressed in these two steps may vary depending on how experienced the patient is at automated perimetry, but rather detailed instructions are important for patients who will take their first test. Patients are most comfortable when sitting more or less erect, preferably in an office chair with armrests. Hand the response button to the patient and explain how to use it. Even experienced patients may have forgotten how to take the test since their last visit. Have the patient put their chin on the correct chin rest position for the eye being tested. The patient should be seated upright and comfortable. Use the table adjustment first, then the chin rest adjustment to position the patient to the approximately correct eye position in relation to the trial lens. Move the trial lens as close as possible to the eye without touching the lashes. When you are ready to start positioning the patient to the trial lens, touch the next button to go to the setup screen. The patient's eye is now visible in the camera image on the screen. If you are using gaze tracking, it will automatically adjust the chin rest position to center the eye, so you only need to position the eye within the trial lens. The entire trial lens and patient's eye need to be visible in the camera image. This is a good time to confirm that the patient can clearly see the fixation light. If not, make the necessary trial lens adjustments. The screen has instructions for you to use to inform the patient on how to take the test. Use these or your own version of the instructions to inform the patient at this time. If you are doing the optional foveal threshold test, perform that first using the on-screen instructions to inform the patient. If you are using gaze tracking, start the gaze tracking initialization process. The instrument will first center the patient's eye to the trial lens. You will see the plus marks of the pupil and X on the trial lens come together to form a green star when the eye is centered. If the chin rest movement is not sufficient to center the eye, you may have to make some manual adjustments. The instrument will automatically find the gaze track position and give you feedback that this has succeeded or failed. If it fails, readjust the patient, have them open their eye a little wider and try again. If it fails after two or three adjustments, you can proceed without gaze tracking. Gaze tracking works on a very high percentage of patients. Use the Start Test button to begin the test. Thank you for watching.